Welcome back to Quick Cuts, where every second counts in your laser engraving or CNC business. In this series, I give my best laser and CNC tips and tricks in less than five minutes. Let's go. Welcome to Quick Cuts, where every second counts in your laser engraving or CNC business. In today's Quick Cut, we're gonna be talking about how to increase the speed of your laser engravings simply with light burn settings and art arrangement. Let's face it, it is true, time is money. Whenever we can produce more items in a day or produce items faster, we are making more profits. I'm gonna show you that speed is not necessarily the main cause of your slow engraving projects. There's other factors. Okay, so we have our artwork imported into Lightburn. Let's go ahead and preview this and see how long this is gonna to take to engrave and cut out. And this is giving us a total time of 39 minutes and 17 seconds estimated to complete this job. Let's see if we can do better. First thing I wanna look at is our line interval. So right now I have this set at 0 0.08 millimeters, which is giving us a lines per inch value of 317.5. So this file just has some really simple vector engravings. There is not a need to have our line interval or lines per inch that high. What I wanna do is change that to 0.1 millimeters, which is 254 lines per inch. Now we're gonna preview the whole file again, and we are at 31 minutes and 10 seconds. So we've saved about six and a half minutes just by changing the LPI. And that will have no ill effects on the final engraving. It's still gonna engrave extremely crisp. The next thing I wanna look at in my engrave settings is down at the bottom, which shows the order in which the laser is gonna engrave all the different vectors. Right now, fill shapes individually is selected. Let's take a look at what that is gonna do. If we move our slider slowly, we can see that the laser is gonna be engraving each one of the letters or objects all individually. So by changing this to filling groups together, I think we're gonna save some time. So what this is doing is grouping the items. You can see I'm engraving the number 24 together, then the last name, then the baseball lacing, and the letters in between that, and the images in between that, for a total time of 2751. Now this is a big improvement, but I think we can do even better. If we go back to our options, and we click on the button that says fill all shapes at once, let me show you what that does. So now, the laser head is moving from left to right, from bottom to top, and engraving everything in between. This is giving us a total time of 26 minutes and 35 seconds. So we've done a little bit better. We're allowing the laser head to actually get up to speed and use the full millimeters per second that we're telling it to. When you're engraving short runs and the laser head is going back and forth, it's having to accelerate, decelerate, accelerate, decelerate, accelerate, decelerate really, really fast. And so you're not getting up to that full millimeters per second number that you want it to be at. Right now I'm engraving this at 330 millimeters per second. But when I'm only engraving something that's about two inches wide, the laser's not actually getting up to that speed. When I'm engraving the full board, which is about 10 inches wide, it's able to accelerate and decelerate at a pace that allows the laser to actually get up to that 330 millimeters per second or as close as it can to it, which is increasing our speed. But now I still have one more trick up my sleeve that's going to greatly increase the speed of this project. So you can see here that we have areas where there's a great amount of travel speed where we're engraving these laces and that is it. So in order to speed up our engravings, we want to eliminate as much of the laser head travel where it's not actually engraving anything. It's just moving and engraving small parts between two distances. So let me show you how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take my image, I'm gonna rotate this 90 degrees. Now let's preview this and see what the time is at. 1731. There's very little dead space where the laser is moving and not engraving anything. So now we've taken that out. There is very little red traversal movements that are not actually engraving anything. And we are at a final number of 17 minutes and 31 seconds for this file. That is a huge difference coming from 37 minutes and 44 minutes originally. So the last thing I wanna talk about is your actual engraving speed itself. You may think that engraving at a higher speed is always gonna result in a faster job, but that is not always the case. So take this circle here that I have drawn. This is a two inch circle. Let's preview this and see the engraving time that we have at me running 330 millimeters per second. And we have a total time of two minutes and 16 seconds. Now let's try increasing our speed to 500 millimeters per second. That should go faster, right? It's actually slower. We're now at two minutes and 33 seconds. So why is that happening? So in order for the laser to get up to that speed, you can see that it's having to 
overextend past our circle here by a greater distance. So even though the laser head is technically moving faster, the whole process is going slower because of all that movement that the head is doing without actually engraving anything. So I hope this helps illustrate that engraving at a higher speed does not always mean that you're gonna have a faster engraved time. Now, every engraving is different. So I recommend that you go through this exercise on every one of your jobs to see what gives you the best and fastest time. Because let's face it, the goal for us as laser engravers is to give the best quality product at the fastest time for us so we can put out more products to sell. All right, so there we have it. I hope you enjoyed these tips and I hope that they help you with production in your shop. Short on time, big on value. That is the motto of Quick Cuts. Thanks a lot. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up so that more viewers can benefit from it. Remember, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. And until next time, keep crafting.